I just need everyone to know that anytime I'm sitting on the floor in my videos, I am in fact sitting in Loki's dog bed. my channel. Today is going to be episode two in my long unhaul series that I'm doing. In case you missed part one, I will link it so you can go watch that and get caught up to where we're at right now in the process. But long story short, I'm moving in January. So I'm trying to organize my collection and not take any books with me that I really don't want or need. So in part one, we went through all of these shelves on this side of my library and I ended up getting rid of about 50 books. Today we are tackling these shelves over here. These are the shelves that hold my romance books. So we're gonna be going through these. I do feel like I'm gonna have less romance books to get rid of than I did the other books, but we'll see. I don't know how this is gonna go. But before we start over there, there was a section of these bookshelves that I didn't get to yet and that is the young adult section. So let me take you guys over there. These three shelves right here are all of my young adult, but not all of them, most of my young adult books. They are also double stacked. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, they're all double stacked. I have a feeling I'm going to be getting rid of most of these books. A lot of them were just books that I was kind of holding on to for nostalgia. However, I don't really read young adult anymore. I maybe read one or two young adult books in the whole year. So there's really no reason for me to be holding on to all of these books with the hope that like one day I decide I want to read a young adult book. So yeah, I do feel like I'm going to get rid of most of these. However, I've already unhauled tons of young adult books and these are the ones that like I held on to. So I feel like it might be difficult because I've had some of these books for over 10 years. Yeah, let's just get into it. Let's start going through them and deciding. Like in my first video, I'm going to be going through every single book and pulling off the ones that I think I might want to get rid of and then we'll kind of talk through it and I'll make my final decision. All right, so we will start over here. We have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is a book that I've been saving for a specific video and I think I'm finally ready to do that video soon. So we're keeping that. Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I have not read this, however, I loved the Remnant Chronicles, which this book is like a spin-off of that series. I think I'm gonna keep it. Oh my god. Elysium Girls. This book, I believe I just randomly found this in a Half Price Books, and I don't even know what it's about. So we'll put this in the maybe unhaul pile. Nightshine by Tessa Grattan. I still really want to read. Tessa Grattan is one of my favorite authors. I hate this cover though. It does have a new cover, so I think that if I do end up reading it and loving it, I will buy the new cover and get rid of this one. A Far Wilder Magic by Alison Saft. This is another book that I have for a potential video. So I'm gonna keep that. The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd-Jones. I think I'm gonna put this in the unhaul. These two, Akita Witch and Akita Warrior. I do feel like I would have liked these had I read them. And I have read books by Nettie Okrafor, her um, adult sci-fi stuff. I don't think I'm ever gonna read these. Blanca Yuroha I read and I really liked this. Although, I don't really know if I need to hold on to it. I feel like I can get rid of that. Bring Me Their Hearts, I read and I really liked it. I don't feel like I need to hold on to this though. Only Ashes Remain, this is the sequel to a book that I read and really liked. I don't even own the first book though, and I have never continued the series. So I think we can get rid of that. Girl Serpent Thorn, I love. This is kind of like a favorite YA fantasy with a bi main character, a sapphic romance. Cryer's War, I read and I did like it. Um, I'm never gonna continue the series though. So I don't feel like I need to hold on to that. A Dark and Hollow Star, ugh. <laughs> this is the, a lot of these books, I feel like if I had read them when I really loved YA, I would love them. But I just don't see myself ever picking this up. So I feel like maybe we can get rid of that. The Haunted by Danielle Vega. This is an arc. I have no idea actually where I got this. And I read it and it was fine. So we can probably get rid of that. Fair Awakens by Elise Kova. I think I do want to hold on to this. I have read another series by Elise Kova and I really liked it. So I've always kind of intended to read this. Um, Sweet and Bitter Magic. Is this sapphic? They're holding hands. I think it might be. But like, will I read it? That's the thing. It is sapphic. Maybe I'll hold on to it. Watch me just keep the gay stuff. Okay, we're going into this back row here, which I think are all books that I've read. Oh, except for Legendborn. I haven't read Legendborn. I don't think I will, so we can get rid of that. Everything else back here I've read, and they were series that I really liked. Angel Fall. 
This one is tough because I really, really loved this series. This was one of the first series that I read when I started my booktube channel. I remember reading Angel Fall like very early on. So for that reason, it's been very nostalgic, but I don't think I'm ever gonna reread it. So I think maybe we can get rid of it. The Book of Ivy and the Revolution of Ivy, I loved this duology. However, we're getting rid of it because these covers are terrible. And if I do, for some reason, really feel like I need these in my collection, I would buy the new covers because they're gorgeous. The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. I do have two copies of The Kiss of Deception. This one is signed. I think I'm gonna hold on to this because I do really love this series and I feel like one day I would want to reread it. So we're gonna keep that. Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifueco. We are keeping. I loved this book. This was one of my favorite books that I read last year. And then we also have the entire Falling Kingdoms series. I feel like for those of you who've watched my channel for a long time, this is gonna be a big throwback. I am keeping these. This was like my favorite YA fantasy series. It's one of the few series that I've actually completed and read every single book. I even have these cute little character bookmarks for them. I like obsess. And I think all of them are signed when I met Morgan Rhodes. So let me just put back all of these books that I decided to keep. Honestly, not bad. Like we really cleared that shelf. That was good. Here's all the books that I pulled off of that shelf. I told y'all, I think I'm gonna be getting rid of the most YA books. So the Book of Ivy and the Revolution of Ivy, I'm getting rid of. Like I said, I did really like this duology, but these covers are tragic. And they have new covers that are gorgeous. So if I do ever want to have them in my collection for some reason, I will just get the new covers. Do I wanna get rid of this? I don't know. Would I ever reread these? If I were to reread these, what would I be reading them for? Can I think of a video I would read these for? Okay, I'm keeping them. <laughs> I just thought of a video I could read them for. That's like my justification for things. If I can think of a video that I would read it for, I'll keep them. Legendborn, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I don't think I would like this book. I don't think I would ever be in the mood to read it. The Haunted, I'm getting rid of. <sighs> would I like this? Ugh. This is one of those things that like, if I feel like if I had read this, when I was like 19, I would probably love it. Let's get rid of it. I don't think I would read it. These three are all books that I read and enjoyed, but I don't feel like I need to hold on to them. So we can just get rid of those. This is the sequel to a book that I read and don't even own. I did love it. Like it was such a cool, unique book, but it's been so long since I read that. I don't think that I would pick this up. I do think I'm gonna be getting rid of these. I just don't see myself picking these up. Same with this. I read another book by this author. It was The Bone something, Bone bone oh this is signed okay this one i have no idea what this is so let's see elysium is a town like any other god fearing praying for an end to the drought and the dust storms until the day the dust soldiers arrive until the people of elysium learn it's all a lie you see there isn't only one god there are two sisters life and death and the sisters like to gamble against each other with things like time and space and human lives elysium is to become the playboard in a ruthless game between the goddesses wait a minute this actually sounds pretty cool hold on hold on hold on hold on and if the people of elysium have not proved themselves worthy they will all be slain this actually sounds kind of cool would i read this like like actually like, I, it sounds cool but like actually would i read this i think no it sounds cool though if that sounds interesting to you there you go. So the only books we saved from that stack is the Angel Fall series. That feels okay to me. That feels right. That feels good. Next shelf, The Midnight Girls. I am keeping. I loved this book. This was another one of my favorite books that I read last year. This is amazing sapphic enemies to lovers romance. Like actually enemies. They literally try to kill each other like 20 times. Oh, so good. The Nature of Witches. I think I might get rid of this. I did try to read it and I DNF'd it. I just couldn't get into it. We'll pull that one aside. Small Spaces, I read. It is a middle grade and I don't really feel like I need to hold on to it. The Grimrose Girls is another one I tried to read and couldn't really get into. So we'll pull that one off. The Project by Courtney Summers, I'm gonna hold on to. I have really been wanting to read this because I did love Sadie. Actually, let's just pull Sadie down, which I'm keeping. At some point, I do wanna try to read The Project. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I think we're gonna get rid of. I did not like this book. The Girls Are Never Gone. I actually can't remember if I read this or not. I'm literally sitting here like, I can't remember if I read this. Did I read this? Oh my God, I think I'm gonna have to look on my Goodreads if I read this or not. I have a vague memory that I did, but I also don't remember it at all. We'll hold on to it. We'll hold on to it for now. My Dearest Darkest, I'm Keeping. I read this book this year and I really loved it. Down Comes the Night, another Allison Saft book that I am keeping. Foul is Fair, I read loved and i think i'm gonna keep lasso i really loved this book and i feel like i do want to hold on to it it is also beautiful i think i want to keep it gunslinger girl i don't even know what this is 
I think we can get rid of it, maybe. Blood Countess, I really wanna read. I believe it's sapphic. It kind of um, reminds me of House of Hunger, which I just finished reading. So we're gonna keep that. Strange Grace, we're keeping. This is one of my favorite books. I do wanna reread it at some point and see if it is as good as I remember. But I feel like this is one of my favorite YA books of all time. White Smoke, I read, I liked, but I don't feel like I need to hold on to it. A Lesson in Vengeance, I read it and I did not like it. So we'll take that one down. To Break a Covenant. This is like a YA horror book that I do really want to read. I meant to read it last year, I think. Last October, and I didn't get around to it. Reign of the Fallen and Song of the Dead by Sarah Glenn Marsh. I'm going to hold on to these. I have read them, and I really liked them. Great YA fantasy, sapphic romance. I am going to be keeping all of the Vampire Academy Rochelle Mead books. I actually just recently reread this whole series and I had never read Bloodlines and I still haven't, so I would like to eventually read Bloodlines. But it was a fun, nostalgic time rereading them. Beyond the Ruby Veil, oh, there's like stuff in here. Okay, um, Beyond the Ruby Veil I read and I didn't like it at all. So we'll take that one down. Shatter the Sky, I actually don't even know what this is about, so we can look at that. Magic of Blood and Sea by Cassandra Rose Clark. This was originally published as two books, The Assassin's Curse and The Pirate's Wish, and I read both of them and really liked them, so I'm gonna keep that. Ash and Huntress by Melinda Lowe, I am keeping. This was actually the very first queer book that I ever read. This one I have not read yet, I do wanna read it eventually. It takes place in the same world as Ash, but it's following different characters. The Never Tilting World by Rin Chapeco. I love Rin Chapeco. Um, I have a lot of their books. However, I don't think I'm gonna read the sequel to this, so I think I'm. we might unhaul that. I'll think about it. The Good Luck Girls, I also read this, really liked it, but I don't think I'm gonna continue the series. And same with this one, all three of those. I read this, it was fine. I'm not gonna continue the series though, so I don't feel like I need to hold on to it. Here's the next stack that I pulled off. These four are all books that I read and liked, but I just don't really feel like I need to hold on to them. They're either books in series I'm not gonna continue, or I don't think I will ever reread. So I'm gonna get rid of those. These three are books that I read and did not like, so we're just gonna get rid of them. This one I DNF'd. I feel like there was potential for me to like this if I maybe try it again. Also, it's like a beautiful book, but will I try again? Probably not. This is another one I tried. We'll just get rid of it. This one, I don't know what this is. Serendipity Jones is the fastest sharp, wait, hold on, hold on. I gotta get my Southern accent. Serendipity Jones is the fastest sharp shooter in the new West. <laughs> She's been offered a life of fame and fortune in cessation, a decadent city where lawlessness is a way of life, but the price she pays for her freedom may be too great. I just recently watched the movie Pearl. I feel like I was I was going a little bit in that direction. Have y'all seen Pearl? That was a great movie. I'm a star. I didn't do anything wrong. Why don't you like me? Why are you leaving me? If I didn't do anything wrong, I don't understand. I thought you liked me. Pearl was great. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. <laughs> What's this one about? Shatter the Sky. What is this? Ooh, Tessa Grattan blurbed it. Raised among the ruins of the conquered mountain nation, Marin dreams only of sharing a quiet life with her girlfriend until the day Kaya is abducted. Desperate to save her, Marin hatches a plan to steal one of the Emperor's coveted dragons and storm the stronghold. Okay. She's gonna steal a dragon to save her girlfriend. I'm gonna keep it. This last bottom shelf is also double stacked. Burn Down, Rise Up. I do want to hold on to. I got this not too long ago and it does sound really good, like a fun YA horror. So I do want to read this. This series right here, I've had this for probably 10 years and I've never even attempted to read it. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, I'm going to hold on to. They Both Die at the End by Adam Severa. I did really like this book. However, I don't feel like I need to hold on to it. Same with The Sun is Also a Star, Nevermore and Wondersmith. I am keeping. These are like the only middle grade books that I genuinely love. This shelf is so dusty. I'm so sorry if you guys see like dust everywhere. I clearly never ever touch these shelves. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I think I'm gonna hold on to them. I also just love that they have sprayed edges and that these weren't special editions because now like every book that has sprayed edges, it's like a special edition that costs $200. Six of Crows was just out here doing that for free. I'm also keeping Language of Thorns. This is actually my favorite Lee Bardugo book. I love this short story collection. The Midnight Lie I've read and I liked it, but I'm not gonna continue this series. The Beautiful I read, but I also don't plan on reading the second book. I heard it's not good. Forest of a Thousand Lanterns, I loved. The sequel's terrible. The sequel doesn't exist. We don't acknowledge her. This is amazing. Villain origin story, incredible. I definitely wanna keep that. Girls of Paper and Fire, I really loved this book. This should have been a standalone. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't plan on 
continuing the series. The Shadows Between Us, I'm gonna hold on to. This was a gift from one of my subscribers, and it was so nice. These Violent Delights, I am getting rid of. I DNF'd this book. I did not like it at all. Modern Fairy Tales by Holly Black. I feel like I'm gonna get rid of this. Revenge in the Wild, I think I'm gonna hold on to. This is a book that I feel like I've always wanted to read. The Winner's Curse, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I don't see myself ever rereading that. To Kill a Kingdom, I loved this book. However, I don't feel like I need to hold on to it. So we'll pull that one off. The Bone Witch and the Heart Forger. These are also Rin Chapeco books who I really, really love, but I don't think I'm ever gonna finish this series. And it's been too long since I read the first book and I don't think I would reread it. So let's pull those off also. Oh my God, look how dusty it is. Oh, disgusting. And here's the last stack from the young adult shelves. I'm gonna be getting rid of this, what is this called? The Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Chima. Again, I feel like the time in my life when I would have read this, it's gone. I've heard great things about it. I wish that I had read it when I liked YA fantasy. This one also, I think I'm not going to read this. Like, I loved the Cruel Prince trilogy while I was reading it, but then like, it erased from my mind the second that I was done. It was one of those that was like entertaining, but like, did I really love it? Not really. I just don't see myself going back to it. And then all of these are books that I've already read and I just don't feel like I need to hold on to them. I don't really have like nostalgia for a lot of these books. I don't really see myself rereading them. So we'll just get rid of these. So from those young adult shelves, I have 36 books here that I am getting rid of. I feel like that is so good. And I'm only keeping four of the ones that I thought I might unhaul. Now we're gonna move on to the romance shelves, which again, I sort of feel like that is where I'm gonna be getting rid of the least amount of books. But I'm sure there's some things in there that I don't want anymore. <laughs> Now we are over here at my romance shelves. Like I said, I don't know how much from this side I'm gonna be getting rid of because I love having a very large romance collection. But yeah, let's get into it. We're gonna start up here at the top. Ignoring this stack right here, Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. I have no idea what this is, so we'll pull that one down and look at it. Eero, I think we'll pull this one down. I have read this, although I don't remember it at all. Flipped Wings, another Helena Hunting book that I read and I have no memory of. This I actually found out recently. It was the first adult romance I ever read. I actually really liked this. I I read this a couple years ago and it was cute. Intercepted by Alexa Martin, I read and it was okay. And this one is an ARC copy, so I, we can pull that one down. Worst Best Man, I have read. I do kind of want to hold on to it. I like the spines that have pretty colors, so I probably am gonna to want to keep a bunch of those. I'm gonna keep, I loved this book and I do want to reread it at some point. I do not know what this book is. So we'll take a look at that. I've read the majority of these books and I wanna keep all the ones that I've read. So the only ones that I haven't read are Twice Shy, which I think I do wanna keep that. I've read The Sally Thorns, The Right Swipe, all of these, Christina Lawrence, Talia Hibbert. The only Talia Hibbert one that I haven't read yet is Work For It but I do really want to read that. It's Kiss Quotient, The Bride Test, love those, want to keep them. These K.A. Tuckers, I've read all of them. I love K.A. Tucker. Well Matched, I have not read yet, but I loved the first book. Did not like the second book. I would like to try the third one. <laughs> this is like a baking competition romance. It sounds so good. Lucky Leap Day, I have not read, but it also sounds super cute. Also, will not be getting rid of any of these. These three are all Tessa Bailey books that I've read and love. And then this is the Bergman Brothers series by by Chloe Lees. I read the first two books and I loved them and I still need to read three and four and then I don't own five yet. And down here are a lot of ones that I haven't read yet. Ice Planet Barbarians, I've read this, love it. I'm obsessed with this cover, we're keeping that. Ashley Winstead is like my favorite thriller author, I just haven't read her romance yet. Delilah Green Doesn't Care is one that I really, really wanna read. This is a sapphic romance that sounds so amazing. I feel like I'm really gonna love it. The Charm Offensive, I loved. What We May Be is like a rom romantic suspense, I think, with a polyamorous romance that literally sounds so good. I want to read this very soon, actually. Devon and Chris Plant A Wedding is another sapphic romance that I really want to read. I think this one also has to do with a dating show. The Stand In by Lily Chu will pull down. I don't really know what this one is. I think I will keep this because this one, I believe, takes place over Thanksgiving, which is actually happening next week. So maybe I should read this like right now. Both of these are ones that were sent to me and I really don't know what they're about at all. So let's 
pull those down. Written in the Stars is a sapphic Pride and Prejudice that I really liked. A Lady for a Duke by Alexis Hall is a historical romance that I still really want to read. It's just super long, that's why I haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, this one should be over with my Tessa Bailey book. The Queer Principles of Kit Webb is a historical romance that I really would like to read. Funny You Should Ask, I also really want to read. I've heard a lot of good things about this and I love the cover. I have not read a Lucy score book yet, but I know this one was like super, super popular, so I am interested. The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches is one of my favorite books that I've read this year. This was such a fun, cozy, witch, grumpy, sunshine romance. I highly, highly recommend that. Laura Olympus, I am keeping. I love Laura Olympus. Um, it's so beautiful. And then this little section right here are some Christmas romances and we're coming up into Christmas season soon, so I probably will be reading some of these soon. So we're gonna go ahead and hang on to those. Here's what I pulled off of that shelf. So let's just go through these. These four, I've read all of them and I don't really feel like I need to keep them. These were like some of the very first adult romances that I ever read back before I even knew it was adult romance. Intercepted, I am going to get rid of. I don't really love sports romances and I didn't really care for this one. And then all of these books are ones that were sent to me by publishers and I do not know what any of them are. So let me just quickly kind of read through them and see if there's anything I want to keep. Mm, no. Yeah, neither of these really sound like my thing. Ooh, this actually sounds good. It's about a girl who has a very strong resemblance to a famous actress and she has to stand in for her. I think I like that. I like the sound of that. Not what I expected by Jewel E. Ann. I don't know. I don't know. Kiss my cupcake. Mmm. <laughs> No. Okay, so the only one from that stack I'm saving is the stand-in. That sounds fine. You know what? I think I'm doing good with the romance books. I'm actually getting rid of things. Moving to the next shelf, we have all my Sophie Lark books here. Not getting rid of any of those, obviously. As well as all of my Katie Robert books. And then we have these Nikki Sloan books, which I've read. All of them except for The Architect, and I love Nikki Sloan, so obviously we're keeping her books. Then we have Medicine Man by Saffron A. Kent, which is a book that I've been meaning to read for years. I, I want to read this so bad. It, it is so long. I like, ugh, I will read it soon. Liar by Fiona Cole, which I do really want to read. I actually won this in a Goodreads giveaway, and it is signed to me, which is pretty cool. The only Mariana Zapata book I own, and I actually haven't read it yet. Then we have all of these Sierra Simone books. I have the first three books in it's the Lesson in Thorns series. I've only read the first book and I loved it and I have not continued the series yet because I'm a little bit scared because of spoilers that I've heard. I will complete it someday. American Queen, I'm also a little bit scared of. I've heard very, very mixed things. I believe that my best friend Lainey said this is the worst romance book she's ever read, which based on my knowledge of what she has read, that's a bold claim and I am curious as to what makes it the worst. Priest and Sinner, I've read Priest I really need to read Sinner. Misadventures of the Professor. I really want to read that at some point. So yeah, nothing to get rid of there. Moving along, I read this at this point, this is just a bookshelf tour. I'm not getting rid of anything. I'm just showing you all my books. Raise and Reap by Tilly Cole. I've read and I really liked them. Violent Delights by Jessica Hawkins. I really, really loved. This is a cartel romance. And we have my two Pam Godwin books. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of Sea of Ruin. That is like my all-time favorite romance. And then... Lessons in Sin, you guys know, I really did not like this book, but I think I want to keep it. Then we have, hold on, it's kind of hard to get into this section right here with the bars, but um, I have these three Penelope Douglas books. I've actually only read one Penelope Douglas book, and it's Birthday Girl, and I really loved it. Then we have Credence and Corrupt. I definitely want to keep Credence. I really, really want to read this someday. However, Corrupt, I feel like the couple times that I've talked about this in my videos, people in the comments really, really try to talk me out of reading this. So I don't know. This is one like, should I keep it? Should I get rid of it? I think I'll hold on to it for now. Maybe you guys can debate in the comments. Reaper's Property by Joanna Wilde. I think I'm gonna get rid of. I did read this. I actually owned the whole series and I ended up unhauling all of the rest of the books in the series and I only kept this one, but like, I didn't like this. Then we have all of my beautiful Jennifer Hartman books. Obviously I'm keeping them. All Things Burn by Jodie Slaughter, which is a dark romance hitman book. It sounds amazing and I really want to read it at some point. Fallen Men series by Gianna Darling. I tried reading book one and I DNF'd it. I didn't like it, but I have been told by a lot of people to try book two. So I think before I decide if I want to like completely quit the series, I will be trying Welcome to the Dark Side. And then I also have Enthralled by Gianna Darling, which I have not read yet. I do still want to try. I want to try a bunch of Gianna Darling books. Books 
one and two in probably my favorite dark romance series ever. This was the first dark romance that I ever read. I want to keep them. Eventually, I want to get the whole series, but I only have one and two right now. Salacious Players Club series by Sarah Kate, which I've only read the first two books, but I really need to finish the series. These are like five star amazing. Okay, then I have these two books, The Sweetest Oblivion and The Darkest Temptation, but I've heard some not so great things about this author, so I think we're going to be getting rid of them. Twisted series by Anna Huang. Um, these are the covers with the men on them. I actually just got sent the new printing of the alternative covers, so I have all four of those, and I'm like, do I need both versions? And I came to the conclusion that yes, I do, so we're keeping them. Then we have this series by Emily McIntyre. Um, the first one is Hooked. I have the original indie publishings of Hooked and Scarred, and then I got sent the new traditionally published version of Hooked, and I realized that actually the indie versions of Hooked and Scarred are not the same height, and that bothers me, but it is the same height as the new one. So I will be getting rid of the original indie version of Hooked. Then I have this other book by Emily McIntyre, which I really want to read. I think this is a romantic suspense. It sounds so good. Ruthless Creatures. This is a mafia romance that I really want to read. I've heard amazing things about it. Tears of Tess by Pepper Winters is a very dark romance. I've heard it's very, very dark, and I would like to read it. The Dare by Harley LaRue I have read. Prisoner I really want to read. This is one of my friend's like favorite romances, and I still have not read it yet. <laughs> Both of these Trisha Wolf romances, Born Darkly, I loved, so we're gonna keep that. However, I did not like lovely bad things, so I think I might get rid of this. We'll think about it. We'll give that a think. Lady of Rook's Grave Manor, we're keeping. The Never King, I also really love the series. It is super fun. Is it amazing? No. Is it incredibly entertaining? Yes. Gravity by Sarah Kate, I think I'm gonna be getting rid of this. I have a rant on my channel about this book and how much I hated it. <laughs> <gasps> jail! All these characters belong in jail. TikTok, you really done me dirty. And I just want to erase this from my memory, if I'm being honest. Bullseye by Monica James. I really want to read this. These books down on the end, I'm going to zoom you in because I can't actually get back there. Twist Me, I think is a kidnapping romance and I really want to read that. Her Soul to Take and Her Soul for Revenge by Harley LaRue. I loved, loved the first book. I still need to read book two. Vibe by Liza James, which is a dark sapphic romance that I really want to read. Gothicana, which is a, like a gothic fantasy romance. I don't actually know if it's fantasy, but I do really want to read that. And then Haunting Adeline by H.G. Carlton. I'm on the fence if I want to read it. I kind of think I do, but then sometimes I think I don't. We'll hold on to it for now. Here's the stack I pulled off of those shelves. Much smaller stack. Gravity, I'm getting rid of. I really hated this book. Sorry, Sarah Kate. Love Sarah Kate, but this was a no. Same with Lovely Bad Things. I really did not like this book. I hate to get rid of it because I love this cover. The cover is kind of like why I was drawn to this book. We did read this for one of my Patreon book clubs and I feel like most people also did not like this. It was just, ugh. It could have been great. It could have been great. I've actually since read a book that is very similar in plot to this but way, way better called um, Her Vigilante by Lillian lark that was great this is no we're getting rid of hooked since i already have another copy of it we're getting rid of these two books because i've just heard terrible things about this author and then we're getting rid of this because i did not like this and all i remember about it is that the guy is named horse all right so this section here are fantasy romances so down on the very end there is the fake crate versions of radiance and Eidolon, which i'm obsessed with i love when i move into my new place i'm going to be displaying those like very prominently but for now they're over there then we have a soul to keep which is a monster romance that i really want to read it sounds amazing a promise of fire by amanda bochette which is a fantasy romance that i love black sunshine and the blood is love I did not like book one and I'm not gonna read book two so I don't feel like I need to keep these. This steampunk series by Mel Jean Brooks I want to keep. I read book one and I liked it and I think eventually I might continue the series. The Bridge Kingdom series I'm obviously keeping. I love this series. I haven't read book three yet but I've read the first two and they were both five stars. Magic Bites by Leona Andrews. I don't know if I will ever read this. I've had this for a very, very long time and I've never attempted to read it. I don't even think I know what it's about. I actually don't even know if it is romance. Let's pull that one down. I'm unsure about that. The Stay a Spell series, obviously I'm keeping. I love this series. I actually just read book three recently, so I'm excited to get that book and um, add it to my collection. The Experiment in Terror series by Karina Halley, I'm keeping. I've read these first four books and I really want to continue. It's a long series. I think there's maybe like 10 or 11 books in it so far. All 
of these books I am keeping. I have not read them. They're all like first books in series, I think, and I do want to read all of them. I'm obviously keeping my whole Grace Draven collection here. The only one I haven't read is The Undying King. I'm going to be keeping the Four Horsemen series by Laura Thalassa. I've read the first two books and I love them. From Blood and Ash, I DNF'd this book and I don't foresee myself ever trying again or reading any of the other books in this world or series, so I think we can get rid of this. And then I have all these other Laura Thalassa books, but I have The Bargainers bind up and then the fallen world bind up and I'm keeping both of those. I have this whole series by Brittany C. Cherry which I really really want to read. I have heard that they're super emotional and I just don't tend to pick up like very emotional angsty romances. I need to be in a very specific mood for that. Drag Me Up by RM Virtues. I believe that this is a Hades and Persephone's retelling that sounds so good. Someday Someday by Emma Scott is another one that I've heard is like super emotional. I think that's a male-male romance. Similar to Britney C. Cherry, I have not read any Kennedy Ryan because I know she's gonna destroy me. I've tried to read Real so many times and every time I put it down, I'm just um, allergic to emotion. Vicious by LJ Shen, I think we might unhaul. I did really like this book, but I don't care for her as an author anymore. I have all these Lauren Rowe books. I've only read Hero, which I love. Heartbreak Warfare is another one. I've heard is so so heartbreaking. I've actually been told that this is kind of similar-ish to Still Beating which makes me really want to read it. White Whiskey Bargain by Jodie Slaughter I've read and I really liked this. I have the whole royalty series by Emma Chase which I love. These are really fun royalty romances. Parker by Jack Harbin. This is my favorite book by Jack Harbin. Go Deep by Rosie Adams is another favorite. That's one of my favorite romance novellas. Rebecca Weatherspoon. I'm obviously keeping both of these. Rafe and Zenny. Love those. This book Parallel I really really want to read. It actually has a new cover but I've heard really great things about it. This one right here, I don't know what this is about. I think this was sent to me, so we can look at that. These Tiffany Reese books I want to keep. The Edge of Never I've had for like 10 years maybe, and I've never read it, so let's take that down. Same with this one. I've had this for a long time, and I've never even tried to read it. On Dublin Street, this was also one of the first adult romances that I read, along with that Jennifer L. Armentrout book, but I don't really know if I need to keep it for that reason. And then the rest of these are all ones that I would like to read at some point. And then we have all of the Karina Halley contemporary books. I have so many Karina Halley books. These are contemporary ones that I've read all of them, except for the one that got away. Here is the last stack that I have. Black Sunshine and The Blood is Love. I'm getting rid of these. I did not like Black Sunshine and I'm never going to continue. I hate getting rid of these because these covers are stunning. From Blood and Ash, I'm getting rid of. I DNF'd this book. I really did not like it. That book was a no. Vicious, I read. Really liked this. However, I'm just never gonna read any of her other books. I've tried to read a couple other ones and hated all of them, so this was kind of like a one-hit wonder for me. This I'm getting rid of. This was also one of the first adult romances that I ever read, and I really did like this, but again, like I don't need to hold on to books just because I liked them. 10 years ago. Okay, and then these are four books that I don't know all that much about, so let me kind of read about these really quickly. Oh, it's a bodyguard romance. Ooh, okay, I'll keep that. I do like bodyguard. I think this is a road trip romance. It's very long. I don't think I would read this. Magic Bites. Kate Daniels is a down on her luck mercenary who makes her living cleaning up magical problems. But when Kate's guardian is murdered, her quest for justice draws her into a power struggle between two strong factions within Atlantis magic circles. Is this a romance? I don't actually know if this is romance. I think I might hold on to this actually. I hate this cover though. This cover is terrible. And then Love on Beach Avenue. True love is in the details for Jersey Shore's premier wedding planner. Jersey Shore's premier wedding planner. No. Okay, so from all of my romance books that I decided to unhaul, I'm keeping three, which I feel like is good. Okay, I actually have 21 romance books here that I'm getting rid of, which I thought I would be getting rid of nothing. So 21 is good. And that brings my total number of books that I'm getting rid of in this video to 57, which I think brings my absolute total to like a hundred something. I can't remember exactly how many I got rid in part one. It was definitely over 50. So, so far I've unhauled over a hundred books. That is so great. So yeah, I think tomorrow I'm going to take all of these two half price books. The next part that we are doing is I'm going to be going through all of my book of the month books, which I have so many of those. Those I think are going to be harder because I actually am going to have to like look up what all of the books are about because a lot of them I have no clue what they're even about. So stay tuned for the next part of this unhaul series. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and seeing me really go through all of my 
book collection very in depth and I guess these are also serving as bookshelf tours because I'm really showing you all the books that I have but thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye